So this is the Basil talk. Um, if you've heard about Basil uh, in the keynote or in some of the other talks here today uh, and, and in the last couple of days, uh, you probably have some questions like, what is this thing? Uh, why do I care? Should I care? Why, what, how does this relate to Angular? Those are the things I'm going to answer in this talk. So I like to start all of my talks with a fake quote that I made up. So some enterprise user says, my build in CI is too slow, although I have heard this from a number of you at the conference. Um, and this is the main motivator of what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, so for this talk, I want to give a, a, a bit of guidance about um, what scale we're trying to target with, with Bazel. Um, a 10-component app, what I'm calling small t-shirt size, is probably a typical like, app that you would write in a, in a boot camp class or maybe like the Tour of Heroes or our new Getting Started that we just announced, all the way up to a 2,500-component app. I picked that number because that is actually the size of uh, one of the Angular apps that we build internally at Google. Um, and building an extra large app is pretty challenging. Uh, so now here we are at 2019. Um, I'm not going to read all of these things, but the, the short story is if you tried Bazel in the past, uh, there were a lot of sharks in the water, and so you might not have gotten in the water. The sharks have been dealt with. The water might still be cold. But we've done a lot of work to make this um, fit the existing model. So we've smoothed a lot of rough edges, and we've also made it scale down to fit into a smaller project. Because you know, our usage at Google is that Bazel is, uh, is used in really large projects. So for example, the Bazel team, based on our feedback, went from, I think, 180 megabytes um, for the at Bazel slash Bazel NPM package, and the latest number is less than 50. So they're working on trimming things out, making it fit better into, into our lives as front-end developers. So I want to make this a little bit less scary. I already said Bazel is just this hub and spoke model. It runs your existing tools. But let me also describe how it fits into the Angular CLI. So in the keynote, Brad announced that one of the new features we have in Angular 8 is this builders API. Um, and as he said, that the schematics API we released a year or so ago allows you to customize the files that the CLI will produce in your project. Builders allow you to customize what tools we run when you run ng-test, ng-build, ng-serve. And so the one you use today, you may have never seen this NPM package. It's buried inside of the CLI. Um, but it's this at Angular dev kit slash build Angular package. And that is a builder. And it sits in between the CLI and all the tools that we call. And so you can think of Bazel as simply a different green box that sits in between here. It's just a different way to orchestrate which tools we run when. You still use the CLI. You can still use your existing tools. Um, and so hopefully that makes it less scary. So let's say you want to try this. Uh, and you have a, an app where you think it can actually solve your problems. So the simple way to get on board is, first of all, update to Angular 8, and then either uh, create a new app using the at Angular slash Bazel collection, or use that same package with ng-add to add, add Bazel into your existing application. And at this point, what you should expect is that you have the same behavior as before, and your sources haven't really been changed. There's just a couple of, of uh, differences when we set up Bazel. And the outputs all look similar. Um, but it doesn't yet have all the scaling properties. So this is, this is just like your first step in, OK, let's see if Bazel can work in my project. Bazel.angular.io is our landing page. There are a bunch of resources here. You can find a link to RBE, the remote build execution, if you want to try that. Uh, documentation is here. You can subscribe for updates. We'll let you know as we make more progress. The example app. And you can also find links to this talk and a bunch of other Bazel talks to help explain a lot of the other concepts that I breezed through as quickly as possible. 